Okay, hello. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little sick, but I'm trying to get this video for um, everyone that's trying to play the new Fortnite on Mac. So the first step that you're going to want to do is download Windows Boot Camp. I will post a video, a link to a video in my description. I'm not going to go through how to do it because it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. But I'm going to show you the steps to get the best uh, quality once you have everything downloaded. So the main thing with Mac is overthrottling. You're going to want to make sure that you have enough power to your system. So we're going to go to power and sleep. We're going to go to additional power settings. I already have it created here, but you're going to want to click create a power plan and go to high performance. Name it whatever you want. And then create. Simple enough. The next step, you're going to want to go to update and security. You don't want to turn your updates off because once you get everything running, you don't want your updates to come through for um, Windows. <clears throat> Some of the updates will mess with your FPS and different things. I've just found it better that once you get it up and running, there's no need to um, change it. Privacy. Scroll down. Go to background apps. Let apps run in background. You want this off. Next step, you're going to want to go to gaming. So if you're going to use a recording software for anything, you do not want to have your game bar on. You want to have your game bar off, and then you're going to want to use something like OBS Studio. It will use less of your CPU usage, and it will keep your temperatures down, which is going to change that throttling. So when your computer gets too hot, that's when you're going to have those FPS drops that are very common when you play on Mac. So if you're playing on an external monitor like me, you're going to want to have a use a DVI cable, which is going to give you the most FPS. If you use an HDMI, you're going to have to get one of the newer ones to where you're going to get the full um, FPS. Um, make sure you go, when, once you plug in your monitor, make sure you go to advanced settings and sometimes your refresh rate will be limited on your Mac. Just the way that's set up, I had to change it to 240, even though my monitor itself says I'm at 240. You just don't want to go in and change that. Once you're in Fortnite, these are the optimal settings. If you're playing directly on your Mac, you're going to want to stay at like 160, 165, 180. The amount of distance you can keep your FPS from dropping will help your gameplay be smoother. But I now play on an external GPU unit which I'll get into after I show these settings. So I play at 240, but view distance, medium, near, like it's not gonna affect your gameplay. You want all of these off, shadows and aliasing, textures, effects, post-processing. V-Sync off. Multi-thread rendering, if you're gonna play on a um, very old Mac, you're probably going to want this off. If you have one of the newer Macs, the more threads you have, the better that it's going to perform with the multi-thread rendering on. So keep that on if you have a newer Mac. If you have something from like 2014, turn that off. So I'm going to get into my external GPU unit now. With my FPS on the screen in the bottom left, you can see that I'm getting to like my max is like 500. In this new Fortnite Chapter 2. Last season I would get to about 600. But that was when I wasn't recording and I'm recording right now. So as you can see I'm holding pretty steady that high. That's what I mean. You don't need the external GPU unit if you follow these settings. You can play directly on your Mac or use an external monitor and still get high FPS. But I'm going to go through a few settings on my external GPU unit while you guys are here. So I'm going to quit out of Fortnite. I'm going to open up. I'm going to open up the AMD settings. I'm going to show you what I have. So I've optimized my graphics card. I have the AMD Vega 56. So these settings, if you have an AMD card or even the one that's in your computer, you can download this. And you're going to want to follow these settings. I'm not going to go through them, but these settings are, are like the optimal for gaming. 
I think the only things that you really change is like texture filtering quality to performance, the tessellation mode to override, override, and then off. Um, but then the main thing is the Wattman, which is allows you to um, change the actual like overclocking under volting. So I'm just gonna show you what I have right now for my custom. So I have my frequency at one, and these are my voltages. These, this is the most stable I've found for my card. Somewhere around this is gonna be great if you have the same card. You just wanna minimize the amount of times that you're um, dropping your frames, you're dropping out, your game stuttering. <clears throat> so the first thing, turn your power limit all the way up. I have my fan speed on manual, so I always have it going at about 50%. Then it increases as the temperature goes up, but it really never gets probably above 42 degrees. I have my memory at 935. If I go to like 940, 945, my game starts to freeze. So 935 works for me. And then you just kind of have to play with it, but that's the optimal settings. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see anything more that I've done. Um, I'm going to put some gameplay in here. Let me know what you think. Thank you. That one. You good? I found them both right here. Okay, I'm coming. That one. That one. Okay, one just fell to his death. <laughs> Fun story. Yeah. Uh, another team just rooted by us. Hey, there's a couple of down back down. Here. And there's minis. And um please come get me before I die. Yeah, where we're Honestly, saw me. Down the controller, kid. There's a team B. I'm just gonna try to get to you. Need that. Come back. Knocked him. Yes.